All right, what's good, YouTube audience? Today, I wanted to present something that isn't, you know, a GD level, but is still GD related. So this is GDIO. This is the GitHub page for it on screen, as you can see here. Uh, this is a Python, I would maybe call it a pseudo library for Geometry Dash that should allow you to directly read and write to your uh, CC level data dot that which is where your levels are stored. In essence, this will allow you to do scripting to programmatically edit your geometry dash levels. Uh, for those who might not be aware, which I would be surprised if you're even watching this video, um, my the past few levels that I've put out over the past couple of years have been assisted through scripting through a version of this library that wasn't made public. Uh, whether that is the not randomly generated section of National Anthem or one background that I previewed on Twitter and also a lot, a lot more than you would be expecting for uh, how to disappear so previously I wasn't sure if I was going to put this out publicly but with the advent of 2.2 I discovered that pretty much all the code that I had written for how to disappear in 2.1 is still pretty robust and still pretty intact so I wanted to make this stuff public and hopefully help out the workflow of, you know, creators out there who are looking to make their life a bit easier. I know with this uh, library for myself, I've created uh, automated modular block generation. I've, uh, I've done, I've written some optimization algorithms for myself. Having the ability to do, to do this programmatic development on my levels has been indispensable in helping me to release these in short time frames and to not bore myself with the details of copying. I'm hoping people out there can get some usage out of it. Uh, with the release of this video, you'll be able to go to the repository in the uh, description of this video and download this for yourself or clone it or however you feel like doing so and use this code for yourself. Uh, I'll show that there are some code examples here and at least some amount of documentation that should help you uh, get a start with uh, developing and using this library. So, uh, yeah, I hope to see people using it and I hope people really enjoy uh, the capabilities that this might open up. 